हेलो गाइस वेलकम एंड वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल जेवियर ऑनलाइन क्लासेस लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल सो हेलो एवरीवन नाउ इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट एक्सरसाइज 10.5 सो बिफोर आई गोइंग टू सॉल्व दिस एक्सरसाइज फर्स्ट यू हैव टू नो सम एल्जेब्रिक आइडेंटिटीज ओके सो हियर द फर्स्ट आइडेंटिटी दैट इज ए प्लस बी होल स्क्वायर एंड हियर द फार्मूला इज ए स्क्वायर plus 2ab plus b square here the next one a minus b whole square that is a square minus 2ab plus b square okay now the third one third one here if you have a plus b into a minus b that equal to a square minus b square and now the fourth one if you have x plus a into x plus b then the formula will be x square plus a plus b x plus ab okay x square plus a plus b x plus ab suppose you have here x plus a and second one will be x minus b then the formula will be x square plus here a minus b into x and that one will be here Minus AB. Okay, that one will be here minus AB. Okay, now let's start exercise ten point five sum number one. In sum number one one, you have three x plus five into three x plus five. That means here you can write down this one as three x plus five whole square because whenever you multiply same number with itself. then it will be square that means x into x x square so now here you can apply the formula a plus b whole square and that is first write down a square then here 2 into a into b means here 5 and then write down here b square so here your answer 9x square plus here 3 and 5 so it becomes 30x and last one will be here 25 Next one, number two. Number two, you have nine my sorry nine y minus five. Then again nine y minus five. So it becomes nine y minus five whole square. Okay. So that equal to you can write down a a square minus two ab plus b square. So it will be nine y whole square. Then minus two ab and after that here b square. So it will be here eighty one y square. Minus ninety y plus twenty five as your answer. Now the third one. Third one you have four x plus eleven y into four x minus eleven y. So here you can apply the third identity that is a plus b into a minus b, and that is a square. That means your first one whole square minus b square. Okay, so it will be here sixteen x square. Minus one twenty one y square. Next number four. Number four you have three by two m plus two by three n. Okay. Then again multiply three by two m minus two by three n. So here you can again apply the same formula that is a square minus b square. Okay, and that one will be here. 9m square because 3 square means 9 m square means m square by 4 and here 4 n square by 9 as your final answer next sum number 5 sum number 5 you have 2 by a plus 5 by b again 2 by a plus 5 by b that means here you can apply the formula of a plus b whole square so i hope you can solve it now the last one last one here 6 p square by 2 plus 2 by q square then again p square by 2 minus 2 by q square that means here a square minus b square formula so p square by 2 whole square then here 2 by q square whole square So it will be here p to the power four, then four minus here four by q to the power four as your answer. 
Next, sum number 2, 1. Using the identities, evaluate the following. So, first one you have 81 whole square. So, here you have to apply the identities. So, you can write down 81 as 80 plus 1 whole square. So, that you can apply here a plus b whole square formula. That is a square plus 2 into a into b and then b square. So, that will be here 88640, then here 160 and then 1. So, it will be here 6400 plus 161. That means here 6561. Okay, 6561. Next one, 97 whole square. So, you can write down 97 as 100 minus 3 whole square. That means here A minus B whole square formula. So, A square minus 2 into A into B plus B square. So, it will be here double zero. Then next one here 600 plus 9. Okay. So, that means here you can write down 10,000. So, it will be here 10,009 minus 600. And here your answer that is 9409. Okay. Now, the third one. Third one you have 105 whole square. So, you can write down this one as 100 plus 5 whole square. Now, here you can apply A plus B whole square formula. Next, 997 whole square. That equal to you can write down 1000 minus 3 whole square. Here you can apply A minus B whole square formula. Next, number 5. Number 5, you have 6.1 whole square. That means here 6 plus 0.1 whole square. So, it will be here a square, then here 2 into 6 into 0 0.1 and then 0 0.1 whole square. That means here 36, then here 12 into 0 0.1, it will be 1.2 and then here 1 point, sorry, 0 0.1 into 0 0.1, it 0 0.01. So, sorry, that one will be here 36 only. So, write down here 36 plus. Okay. So, 36 plus 1.2, that means 37.2. Then plus 0 0.01, that will be here 37.11 as your answer. Next, sum number 6. Here, 496 into 501. So, you can write down 496 as 500 minus 4 and 504 as 500 plus 4. Then here you can apply the formula that is a plus b into a minus b. And you know that it's a square minus b square. So here 500 whole square minus 4 square. So it will be here 25 then double 0. Again double 0 and then minus 16. Okay. So 2, 5 and 4, 0 minus 16. That equal to 2, 4, 9, 9, 8, 4 as your final answer. Next, sum number 7. In sum number 7, you have 20.5 into 19.5. So, you can write down as 20 plus 0 0.5 and next one 20 minus 0 0.5. Now, again a square minus b square formula. So, I hope you can solve it. Now, next one and the last one that is 9.6 whole square. So, you can write down this one as 10 minus 0 0.4 whole square. That means A minus B whole square formula. Next, sum number 3. In sum number 3, find the following squares using identities. So, as here PQ plus 5R whole square. That means A plus B whole square formula. So, here A square, then 2 into A into B and then next one here b square so it will be here p square q square then 10 p q r and the next one will be here 25 r square so that is your answer then next one 5 by 2 a minus 3 by 5 b whole square so again a minus b whole square that means 5 by 2 a whole square minus 2 into 5 by 2 a 
and then 3 by 5 b and then write down here 3 by 5 b whole square so it will be here 25 a square by 4 here 2 2 cancel out 5 5 cancel out so minus 3 a b and the last one will be here 9 by 25 b square as your final answer now the third one third one you have root 2 then a plus root 3 b whole square that means again a plus b whole square formula so here root 2 a whole square plus 2 into root 2 a into root 3 b and here root 3 b whole square so it will be here 2 a square then 2 root 6 a b last one here 3 b square now sum number 4 sum number 4 you have 3 sorry 2 x by 3 y and here 3 y by 2 x whole square so it will be here 2 x by 3 y whole square minus 2 into 2 x by 3 y into 3 y by 2 x plus 3 y by 2 x whole square okay it's very easy so that one will be here 4 x square by 9 y square then here 2 x 2 x cancel out 3 y 3 y cancel out minus 2 only and next one 9 y square by 4 x square now sum number 4 1 in sum number 4 using the identity x plus a into x plus b that equal to x square plus a plus b x plus a b you know that so here the first problem x plus 7 then here x plus 3 so according to the formula it will be x square then here 7 plus 3 into x and then 7 into 3 it's 21 so that means here x square plus 10x plus 21 now number 2 number 2 you have 3x plus 4 and here you have 3x minus 5 so here for the negative 1 you know that is first if write down the first one whole square then here plus then 4 minus 5 it will be here negative okay then into x that means here 3x that is the first one and then here minus then 4 into 5 so it will be here 9x square then here minus 3x minus 20 as your final answer okay now the last one number 4 here a b c plus 3 and then here a b c minus 5 so your answer will be here a square b square c square the square of the first one then here plus 3 minus 5 a b c and last one will be again minus 3 into 5 it's 15 so here a square b square c square minus 2 a b c minus 15 as your final answer next sum number 5 sum number 5 you have the first one 203 into 204 so you can write down this one as 200 plus 3 and then 200 plus 4 now the same formula then first one will be whole square then here 3 plus 4 into 200 and last one will be 3 into 4 so that one will be here 4 then 4 0 then here 3 plus 4 7 so 7 to the 14 double 0 and that one will be here 4 okay so that means 4 4 zeros plus 1 4 double 0 plus 12 that equal to your answer 4 1 4 1 2 now next one number 2 number 2 you have here 8.2 into 8.7 so you can write down this one as 8 plus 0.2 then here 8 plus 0 0.7 so it will be here 8 square then here 0 0.2 plus 0 0.7 into 8 and last one will be 0 0.2 into 0 0.7 so i hope now you can solve it number 3 it's 107 into 93 so here you can write down 107 sorry you can write down here this one okay so write down here 100 plus 7 
and next one will be here 100 minus 7. So here you can write down 100 square then here 7 minus 7 into 100 then here 7 into 7. So it will be here 4 0 that one will be 0 so minus 49 okay. So 4 0 minus 49 that equal to 9951 okay. 9951 is your answer. Okay, now sum number 6. That is the last sum for this video. So guys, if you like my video, please, please share this video and please subscribe my channel. So here, 53 square minus 47 square. That means here you can apply the formula A square minus B square. And that is first write down A plus B and then you have to write down A minus B. So first one here 53 plus 47 you know that that one equal to 100 and next one 53 minus 47 that is 6 so it will be here 600 it's very easy now number 2 2.05 whole square then minus 0 0.95 whole square so first write down 2.05 plus 0 0.95 then write down 2.05 minus 0.95 so 2.05 plus 0.95 that is 3 you know that and the next one for the minus that will be 1.1 so your answer will be 3.3 .3. okay now the third one and the last one so 14.3 whole square minus 5.7 whole square so first one will be 14.3 plus 5.7 and next one will be here 14.3 minus 5.7. Okay, so first write down 14.3 plus 5.7 that equal to 20 and next one if you subtract it then your answer will be here 8.6. So 8.6 into okay 8.6 into 20 that equal to 172 as your final answer.